Welcome back to Actual Edge, your hub for the latest advancements in medical science. In today's feature, we explore the potential floodgates opening for gene therapy, specifically in the treatment of HIV and sickle cell disease. Let's delve into the groundbreaking developments shaping the future of healthcare. In the early 1990s, scientists envisioned a one-time treatment for HIV involving genetic modification of hematopoietic stem cells. Fast forward to today and the landscape is evolving with promising therapies like Cascavi by Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR Therapeutics. However, their high costs raise questions about accessibility. Cascavi, the first FDA-approved CRISPR-based therapy for sickle cell disease, comes with a hefty price tag of $2.2 million. Its counterpart, Lifgenia, is priced at $3.1 million. These costs pose challenges, especially for patients in Africa, where the majority of babies with sickle cell disease are born. Now, visionaries like Mike McCune, leading the Gates Foundation HIV Frontiers program, are pioneering a shift towards in vivo gene therapy. Unlike ex vivo methods requiring transplantation, in vivo treatments involve a single injection directly into cells, potentially offering a more cost-effective solution. McCune emphasizes the prospect of a one-shot HIV treatment, envisioning a shift in resources from annual antiretroviral expenses to a cure. With partnership between the Gates Foundation, private companies and biotechs like Excision Biotherapeutics, the goal is to making gene therapy accessible for both HIV and sickle cell disease. Mike McCune also said that we have to work on that. And I think that's going to become really important because the inequities of healthcare, so poignantly highlighted during COVID, are going to become even more glaringly obvious. McCune sees potential market and prayer support for a one-shot HIV treatment, redirecting funds from ongoing treatments. In Africa, where significant resources are allocated for antiretroviral therapy, the shift towards gene therapy could be a game changer. The Gates Foundation, in collaboration with various entities, is driving efforts towards in vivo gene therapy. Partnerships including Guy Therapeutics, Bluebird Bio, Intellia Therapeutics and more. These collaborations aim to ensure accessibility for people in low and middle income countries. While optimism surrounds for potential in vivo treatments, challenges including safety concerns persist. The Gates Foundation is diversifying its approach, simultaneously working on therapeutic vaccine for HIV. The dream, as McCune puts it, is to revolutionize medicine and set the course for a new era of healthcare. Like, share and subscribe for more insights into the future of medical science. Until next time, this is Actual Edge, signing off.